Hi everyone, I'm Jackie, and today I will be covering the most missed question on June 2024 SAT exam. At least this is what students reported back to me that they got this question, they didn't know what to do, and let's take a look. Okay, so first, it says point F lies on a unit circle in the XY plane and has coordinates 1, 0. Point G is the center of the circle and has coordinates 0, 0. Point H also lies on the circle and has coordinates negative 1, y, where y is a constant. Which of the following could be the positive measure of angle FGH in radians? Okay, so first, let's think of a circle on the coordinate plane. I'm told that there we have a center at 0, 0. And also, we have coordinates 1, 0 for point F. So one zero, um, this would be F, this is G. And then I'm also told that H also lies on the circle and has coordinates negative one Y. Okay, so for me to find the value of Y, to be sure, um, what I know is that any circle that's centered at zero, zero, the equation is just X squared plus Y squared is equal to radius squared. I know what the radius is because the radius goes from the center to the end point, which has a distance of one. Also, I know that one of the coordinates, so I'm doing for negative one y, and we're solving for y. So I would type in negative one plus y squared, what I'm solving for is equal to one squared. So then I have one plus y squared is equal to one. And then I get that y squared is equal to zero. Take the square root, the square root of zero is zero. So this guarantees that my y value is for sure y. So um, fg point h would be at negative one, zero. Okay, and then I'm asked for um, which of the following could be the positive measure of angle fgh. So this would be this angle here, which it's a straight line. So therefore it's 180 degrees. And in radians, 180 degrees is I. Okay, so looking at my answer choices, um, just gonna erase this here. Um, okay, so look at my, my answer choices. I know that a full circle, it gives 360 degrees of full rotation, and that's equal to two pi in radians. Okay, so imagine if I did um, look at answer choice B, 50 pi divided by two pi to count how many rotations that would make. This would give me 25. So that means that starting from here and going around um, 25 times it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, 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 all the way back to F to make it 25. Okay, but I have that extra rotation of pink, so I have to add another the pi 180 degrees to go from F to H. So that would be then another pi, um, 51, 51 pi. So it'd be because 50 pi is 25 rotations. So adding that extra pi brings me back for the 180 degrees or the measure of angle FGH. Does that make sense? And just to show, um, so I found this question has appeared on different variations of the exam. Because remember, you will have different questions um on the exam but you'll have the same concept tested so this was on another exam and we can see basically the same question they just change the numbers um pretty much the same like i'm given x y is coordinates one zero point g is the center with zero zero so again it can just be this is g this is zero zero i also have um that F is one zero, so let's put this here, one zero. And then I'm also given that point H is negative one Y. 
So again, any circle centered, it'd be x squared plus y squared equals radius squared. And again, I would just do negative one squared plus y squared to reconfirm that this is in fact um, equal to zero. So I get that y is equal to zero. And then I know for sure that h is negative one, zero. And once again, I'm asked for the measure of angle FGH, which is a straight line. It's 180 degrees. And same as before. So looking at the answer choices, looking at C, so 24 pi divided by 2 pi, because remember the rotation of 2 pi is equivalent to 360 degrees. This will give me 12, which means that it makes 12 pro rotations from here to here. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's back at F. However, however, I have that extra 180 degrees to make, aka pi and radians. And therefore, it would be basically 24 pi. That makes 12 rotations. And then plus pi for that extra rotation from F to H here. So it should be 25 pi. So wasn't that cool and amazing? Okay, just a question um, that came up. I believe it was the final question, 21 or 22. And hopefully if you see it again, you'll know how to solve it and life will be amazing. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you liked it and you wanna keep seeing more videos appear on frequently, um, like, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.